the Scottish bagpipe contains within it two spirits. It contains the spirit of discipline and the spirit of abandon. The wild spirit and also the civilized spirit. And it's those two things together that I think give the pipe, the bagpipes, its power. I don't know when I started liking bagpipes, but I just, somehow I always did. As a kid, watching the bands march down the streets, I was drawn to the bagpipes. I'll never forget being there and seeing bands march by and the hair standing up on the back of my neck, right, and thinking, okay, I gotta do this, this is amazing. The Scottish bagpipe in particular is the most exacting style of bagpipe playing that you can play. I can't think of an instrument that's where the fingering is more uh, ornate, more demanding than the Highland bagpipe. Also, the bagpipe is just a very easy instrument not to practice because it is a bit physically demanding and it's a cantankerous instrument. It's really kind of sad how we have chosen this instrument that doesn't stay in tune naturally. I mean, it's just built to go out of tune. You know, I mean, it's affected by temperature, it's affected by moisture, it's affected by the imperfections in a person. What I'm here to do now, playing with St. Thomas alumni, is to participate in the sport of pipe band competition. And I would wish you all well in your competition grades and in your future. Prize for the Estony Trophy goes to St. Thomas alumni, USA. Pipe band is constructed from, you can either call it two or three sections. You have a pipe section. Um, uh, at, at this level, at least 18 pipers is typical. And then you have a drum corps, which is composed of two kind of sections within it. You have a snare line that play a very complex style of snare drumming, and then a midsection or a rhythm section, which has a bass drum and then a set of tenor drums. The, the whole band is this large machine, and uh, the individual is but one cog in it, having to perfectly mesh with uh, the pipers on either side and the drum corps. A cool experience is just to be around, or just in the physical presence of a really big, high quality pipe band. Just because of the sound and the size uh, and the volume. I get the same chills and the hair stands up on the back of my neck. You know, the same thing happened to me when I first heard bagpipes. It happens to me when a band is really well set and really well in tune. spend all this time, you do all this work, and you tune, 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 and it comes together, and that, that, in that moment, it's like, yes, this is, this is why I'm doing this. This is why, you know, I love doing this. This doesn't happen very often because you have to, you have to reach a really high standard of tuning to achieve it. It's fleeting, you know, you get that window of perfect tone and then it, it's diminishing after that. The fortunate thing, really a key development, was the fact that we had an experienced leader kind of fall into our laps. Just the very idea of a grade one pipe band pipe major is like manna from heaven. It's just unbelievable. We never really had anything like that happen before in the entire history of bagpipes in Texas. We met as a group and everybody was saying, so what are we going to do? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, what are we going to do? And what do you guys want to do? And, and we went around the table. What do you want to do? I want to win the world. What do you want to do? I want to win the world. All the way around the circle. I was like, well, I guess let's go to Scotland and win the world. Jamie is a superb people manager. I have not seen another pipe major who made playing in a pipe band so much fun. This is a fun experience. Uh, enjoy it and enjoy the playing. And uh, if you get cut, that's your contribution to the band that day. Be a water guy, a 
helper, a help or someone, whatever, right? Just be part of the team. It's not like you're being exiled. You spend a lot of time away from home practicing, so you've got to really love it. You kind of organize all of your other extracurricular activities around this one. Being in Houston, we're a little bit more isolated because it's so expensive for us to travel. This is about 10 days over here. Uh, that's all the vacation time a lot of people have. And to go and ask them to do that versus spending vacation with their families, it's a big sacrifice to ask of the people. Taking a a band of, of 40 people to Scotland for two weeks is upwards of $100,000. You have to ensure that all the members of your band have the right equipment and it's functioning well, and that itself is an immense expense. You add it all together, you know, it's, it's a really expensive proposition to try to achieve every year. Finding corporate sponsorship and, 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 and any, any kind of donations is, is a crucial part of, of the process. Obviously, corporate sponsorship for the pipe band is, is necessary. Due to the great expense it is to play at the level that St. Thomas alumni plays at and to play on an international stage. So having that support, that financial base for the band, Obviously it helps us get to where we want to go. The pipe band can, can, can offer a more diversified audience than they might get otherwise. And it does, it brings a sense of unity for people that necessarily didn't think that they were pipe band fans. I think our community is now waking up to the fact that there is a very, very talented group that's representing them on the world stage. We have become more and more one of the things that people can identify with being from Houston. That's why I think it's bigger than sponsoring a pipe band. It is more about helping us create a culture in Houston, in Texas. In terms of what it would bring to the city, I think I like piping music. I think other people like piping music. I think even if you, if you, even if you don't have a family tradition, even if you didn't grow up around it, it has a kind of natural liveliness that people connect with. And so if you have a high quality band doing shows, doing performances in the city, it just brings, it brings something interesting, it brings something fun to you know, people living in the city of Houston to go to a show, see a pipe band, get, kind of get to know what piping's all about. That's a cool thing. Bagpipes and pipe bands have been a part of my life uh, since I was nine years old. This is something you can do till you're 90. You know, this is a hobby that you can partake in forever. Why we do it is because we, it's a lifelong passion and we like to do it. It sure has brought a, a lifetime of memories and a lifetime of joy just playing the bagpipe. The bagpipes have been a big part of my life and I've seen a lot of the, the world, I've met a lot of great people and lifelong friendships with this. Now you get a little more sentimental about it and you look back on the good times and you realize how many good times you had and how much your friendships mean to you from the bagpipe world. In the world, there is a vast number of people who need to hear us. And if I could make a mark in Texas, it would be expanding the culture. If I could do that, I think that would be really cool.